Hello and happy Easter weekend, everybody. Hope you all had a wonderful, wonderful Easter weekend so far. You know, growing up in Sackville, Easter egg hunts were incredibly important to my brother, my father, and myself. There's one thing that differentiated our Easter egg hunts from any other family that I know of, and that difference was full contact. I'm talking Easter egg hunts this weekend on Sackville Sunday Story. Oh, look at him go! This buddy's gonna hit him with his two feet. Oh, oh, the body drop! The body drop! My childhood is what you would describe as very, very physical in nature. Uh, Ryan and my dad and I, uh, we used to wrestle, uh, we'd throw on the boxing gloves, oftentimes like disputes over who got next turn on the Atari uh, were settled with a wrestling match. It's like, okay, well, why don't we wrestle for it? So that was just, just part of growing up. And oftentimes people would come over to visit and they'd see the three of us just fighting and just the look of shock on their face was just Sorry, Unbelievable. Huh? Huh? It's all right, huh? All right. Oh. Oh, good. We were just really, really competitive. And that lended itself into almost everything we did, including Easter egg hunts. See, what would happen every year is mom would hide the Easter eggs, and then, as a little bonus, she would take out a $5 bill and set it on the counter. There was a 15 minute window, and at the end of those 15 minutes, whoever got the most Easter eggs won the prize and the $5. Because of that, things got a little bit rough. See, anything went. So you might be carrying a little basket of eggs, turn the corner, and your brother or dad might give you a clothesline, take you out, scoop up your eggs, and run off. So it was, it was less of an Easter egg hunt and more of a family hunt. I mean, yeah, there was a $5 prize, but honestly, that wasn't what motivated us. It is not the art, but the combat that you enjoy. Go winning. You know, there's an old phrase that used to be said all the time in those days, it's not whether you win or lose, it's how you play the game. I always had a problem with that phrase because how you play the game, that determines whether you win or lose. Now that competitiveness, that wasn't just my immediate family, that was everybody. That was my aunts, my uncles, my cousins, they were all super competitive. One time, we were having this potato sack race in the backyard, and everybody grabs a potato sack, and everybody gets on the line. But what we didn't notice is my uncle John Lindsay had actually taken two potato sacks. He pulled one over each leg and was just standing there on the start line. Nobody noticed! There was a $5 prize at the end, as per usual. And when my mom said go, everybody started hopping, except John. John had a sack on each leg. He just ran down, crossed the finish line, won the $5. And a lot of people would say, oh man, he totally cheated. We were actually like, wow, like that, it's how you play the game. That guy knew what he was doing. We were all laughing. We were like, man, what a great way to win. You deserve that $5. Because winning was everything. Case in point, one year we went to a family barbecue a family barbecue and we had a potato sack race. Just take a look here at this photo. Look at my face. Look at the veins in my neck. I'm competing against children. But then again, I was there to win. One year it may have got a little too competitive because just before Easter, Ryan went out and saw the brand and packaging of the Easter eggs that mom bought for that year's particular hunt. He went down to the store and he bought another bag. He sneaked them into the hunt. So about a minute into the hunt that year, all of a sudden I hear my dad scream, Ryan's got way too many eggs too early. He sneaked some eggs in. And then a big fight broke out. I remember one year my grandmother came over for a visit during the hunt. So mom would put Ryan and dad and I in a bedroom upstairs while she hid the eggs. My grandmother was standing outside the bedroom in the hallway waiting for the hunt to start. My mother's like, mom, you can't stand in that hallway. When I say go, that door's gonna open and they're gonna come tearing through there. They're gonna take you out. She's like, oh, well, when, I, when, when they come out the door, I'll just move. Mom's like, you're not gonna have time. You don't understand what's gonna happen here. They are gonna bowl right down that hallway, all three of them, and they're gonna be kicking and punching and fighting the whole way down. It's gonna be like a bag of cats. I actually came over to my brother's house to see if he wanted to have one more go for old time's sake. 
but he's not home. I guess I'm gonna have to just leave these eggs as a gift. But I thought this video was gonna end with an old fashioned Easter Sunday brawl with my little brother, but I'm just gonna leave these two Easter eggs for my two nephews, William and Ben. Happy Easter, William and Ben. I hope you had an excellent one, and I hope you're carrying on the tradition of fighting each other for Easter eggs. Remember, this channel is for you. Whether you're an old school sack villain or a new school sack vegan, my name is Chad, and you're watching Sackville Sunday Stories. Sackville.live is brought to you in part by the Doctor's Formula, plant-based supplements for professional athletes. And our friends at Quick Save Fuels on Cobbaquid Road, go to quicksavefuels.com to save. And still going strong after 43 years, Kaiser Subs. Yum!